Greetings, Mark and Charlotte. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find out whether Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 is worth seeing in theaters. This film critic will self-destruct in three seconds. Our lives are the sum of our choices. And we cannot escape the past. Tom Cruise first brought us IMF agent Ethan Hunt in 1996 in a film adaptation of the 1966 television series that ran for seven seasons. The film kicked off the franchise with double crossings. I can understand you're very upset. Kittredge, you've never seen me very upset. Face masks. And, of course, the larger-than-life set pieces that would define the franchise, including the Langley heist and a speeding train. Those set pieces would only get bigger in each sequel, including cliffs and motorcycles in MI2, an exploding bridge in 3, climbing a skyscraper in Ghost Protocol, and so many, many more. Including hanging off a plane in Rogue Nation. And that continues with Dead Reckoning Part 1, with a car chase through Rome and crews biking off a mountain to land on a train. The rest of the film finds Ethan Hunt and team, which includes returning stars Simon Pegg, Bing Rames, and Rebecca Ferguson, trying to stop an artificial intelligence named the Entity from destroying the world. No idea the power I represent. It knows your story and how it ends. This film is a thrill ride from start to finish, alternating from the jaw-dropping action to scene so tense you'll be white-knuckling your theater seat. If you're a fan of action or these films, this mission is a no-brainer. Head to your theater and see this movie on the biggest screen now. Over on streaming services, prepare for next week's release of Barbie by watching Barbie Dreamhouse Challenge streaming on Max. I'm so excited. How do we not win on this? This is amazing. Eight teams see who can design the best room inspired by Barbie's dream house. Welcome to Barbie's pool party! This is so crazy! For Live at Four, I'm Will Loper. No one has that. Not even Beyonce.